Pete. <gasps> Why does it do that? It's been putting me on mute sometimes and I don't notice it. Hello, everybody. It is Thursday. What day is it? December 14th. Almost Christmas. 10 days to Christmas Eve. And today is my last day of my 12 days of Christmas. I can't believe we're finally here. We're done. It was a lot of work, but I know you guys like it. And it's so fun for me too, to really put my creative muscles to work. Um, today, we are going to finish out with two cards. Actually, four cards, but three are the same. You'll see. My mom was here this weekend. We were talking about what I was going to do, and she suggested um, a thank you card. Because after Christmas, don't we need thank you cards? We do. So that's what we're going to do. One of them is going to be a thank you card, and one of them is going to be kind of a fun fold. So we're going to get to that, but I have some things to tell you. I have prizes to share. Um, I also want to show you guys, you know what, let's do that first. I have gotten a handful of Christmas cards in the mail this last couple of weeks. And so I thought I would show you what I have gotten. You guys are always so clever. This is from Vicki, and she used a non-Christmas stamp to make a Christmas card. This is the uh, carousel stamp set. I can't remember the name. And it's kind of like a fun fold. See how she created a... Um, an open space there and put that across and she made the carousel red and gold which makes it look Christmassy so really cute I also like if you can see closely she put black cardstock on the back of the other one in the back right here can you well you probably can't really see so that it's a shadow the back side I thought that was really clever too anyhow beautiful card thank you Vicki um this one is from Bernie and this is a really cool, I don't know what this fun fold is called, but it's very fun. It opens up like that. It's got three multiple layers. And that's a beautiful card to have sitting on your mantle or on a shelf somewhere. Really pretty. I'm going to put that in my fun fold stack, Bernie. Thank you so much. It's beautiful. Um, cascading. Oh, she even wrote on the back. I didn't see it. Cascading pleat card. That's what it's called. Thank you. She knew I wouldn't know what it's called. <laughs> um, this one is from Nancy. I love the candy canes. Remember the candy canes? And this is a gatefold card. And we're actually going to make a gatefold card today that is this way. All right. But thank you, Nancy. Very cute. And this one is from Sandy. And this is, um, isn't it funny how the names just leave, leave your mind? I can't remember the names of the product. It's the new Joy of Noel. Joy of Christmas. Joy of Christmas designer series paper, right? It's not new anymore. It's actually sold out um, with some holly leaves. And Classic Christmas, uh, I believe, is the, um, the stamp set, which I'm actually giving away as a prize today. All right, this one is, this is not a, this is not a, this is not necessarily a Christmas card. I guess it is. This is from Nicole, my downline. She sent me the sweetest gift. Um, it's a journal that has Bible verses on each page, and the Bible verses have your name in them. So it's like the Bible's talking to you, like saying your name. Jesus is talking to you. It's beautiful. Um, Nicole, thank you again. I love it. Uh, but she sent this really cool card with it. This, I'm sure, has a name too, and I don't know it. And that's that um, winter magical meadow sweet paper, which is not sold out, I believe. It's hard to keep up. This card just came yesterday from Lana or Lana. Um, beautiful. Isn't that pretty? Just gold and white with those pops of red. I thought that was really pretty. Very pretty. Thank you. Um, I have a new address and many of you have asked for my new address and I appreciate that. Um, oh, this is from Amanda who is on my team. Amanda is a beautiful stamper. Look at that. That's a lot of tedious work there, making sure those score lines are straight. That's gorgeous, Amanda. That that um, I'm I think I'm giving this one away today as a prize too. Stars at night. Beautiful. Very pretty. All right. Oh, I don't have my 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 iPad was open. Let's see if I can get it. No. Let's see if I can get it open so I can see comments. I can see when you when I'm looking at my phone, I can only see one thing at a time. And it's usually not comments that I can see. It's usually like, so-and-so joined, so-and-so joined, so-and-so joined. This is a card. It's not Stampin' Up!, but it is beautiful. This is from Carla. 
it's cute. It's like vintagey. Very cute with a beautiful bow. And then another one. This is from, um, oh, this is from Gina. Gina always sends me treats. Gina sent me a gift card. Thank you, Gina. She's on my team. Beautiful. Gina's very good at sending cards. Look how cute. Cute little images. Gina lives in Arizona, um, so I bet she doesn't get snow like, like us in Texas. Unless uh, there's parts of Arizona in the high elevations that would get snow, right? Maybe? Maybe? I don't know. Are there are parts of Texas that get snow. Not down here, but there are parts. All right, I'm going to turn you guys around, and I'm going to show you some things, and then we're going to make our last two projects. Let's see if I can get this situated. And... Um, focused. Let's see. Okay, I need to move all of this over and let's center things a little bit. That way I can see what we're doing. I sent an email out yesterday with a last call for my calendar class. Um, this is our 2024 calendar uh, to go class and it, um, Oh, I have embossing powder on this. I hate the way that feels. Um, it is ready, cut, and sorted. I just have to order the product, which I'm doing today. Free shipping today, you guys. Woo! -hoo! Free shipping. Um, so that means there is only a limited number of kits. I just looked right before we came on, and there are seven spots left. So if you want the uh, 2024 calendar class to go. Make sure you go and sign up right now. You know what? I didn't hit post on publish on today's post. Let me go get my computer so that you guys have the the um, the details. Hold on, just a sec. I'm off my game. I was just thinking that link is on the PDF, and then I thought, no, there's not a PDF this week. And then I was like. Oh, wait, the, the blog post. I forgot it. Okay, so let me just... Do you guys get heavy memory usage warnings on your computer? <laughs> Pretty tired of that. I don't know what to do about it. I've cleared everything I can. I need it to just do what it needs to do. All right, horse and sleigh should be up on my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com. Okay. All right, so no... no PDF today with a link. However, if you got, get my email, you will find it in your inbox, okay? Um, this has 12 calendar pages. They're super cute. And it has this little, you can add on this little walnut stand like that. All right. And um, there are a selection of bundles that you will need or use you know, what you have, but you will definitely need the calendar days to remember stamp set. All right, so this is the last time I'm gonna tell you about it. Deadline is tomorrow or until all the slots are filled, which could be today. Um, that's a big job, cutting all of that, that's a lot. I worked on it all week and it's very satisfying when it's done. Uh, Club Create for January registration or not registration, subscriptions are open. If you're already a Club Create member, you don't need to worry about it. You are already subscribed. I feel like this looks very weird today. It looks different. Let me see if I can adjust it a little bit. Um, January's Club Create features a new bundle called the Hot Air Balloon. Um, it's called the Lighter Than Air Suite. This will be in the new catalog when you receive it in your mail. Any day now, they should be arriving. Um, it's super cute. Um, if you would like to be a member of my club, create the subscription button. There's a tab at the top of my blog that says club create and the subscription link is there. Um, you can join and then cancel if you just want to do one month. There's no penalty for uh, just joining one or two months. But if you stay subscribed for six months, you get a $25 product credit on your sixth month. And this month, I just mailed them out yesterday. I had, I think it was 46 people who redeemed their $25 Club Create reward, which was really fun. I love sorting out that order. It's always really fun. So Club Create members, your Club Create kits for December have shipped. This is for January. And if you subscribe today, this would be your first kit. All right, um, I wanna tell you, of course, free shipping. 
Don't forget free shipping and it's one day only. You know, the last time they did free shipping, it was for three days, but this time it's only one day. So it's today. <laughs> Don't wait. Um, it's today. Uh, this is not going to arrive before Christmas. I would, I would assume don't, if you think that you need it, if you need it for Christmas, you're going to have to expedite. I mean, we have reached that point in December, but this is, if you want to check out the clearance rack, um, the last chance list, remember the holiday catalog, which is officially called the September to December mini catalog, um, is retiring at the end of, well, January 3rd, you have just a few weeks and a lot of those things are discounted. So, um, go over to the Stampin' Up! website and at the top you can click there's um there is a let's see I'm going to open it on my my iPad so I can remember exactly what it says there's a tab at the top that says oh come on hold on what does it say you can shop you click the shop button and all the um why isn't it working guys come on that's very strange. Okay. When you click, well, it depends on if you're on your computer. So this looks different than on my computer. Let's see if I can get it turned. Um, when you click those three little lines right there, um, you can shop by product or whatever. Um, if you click specials right there, you can find the clearance rack and the last chance products. Okay. And that's how you find them. Um, and then you can scroll through and see what's leaving and what's discounted. There's still a lot left. That paper right there, Joyful. I've used that a bunch and I love it. It's really good paper. Anyway, go peruse, see what you want. Uh, free shipping on orders over $75, okay? Which is easy to get to, in my opinion. <laughs> it's pretty easy. Um, so I am not gonna do make and takes this week. Um, obviously, it is time for me to start working on my family Christmas, wrapping, shopping, baking, doing all those things. So I'm taking the next few weeks off. Um, so I'm not gonna be cutting make and takes for this week's projects, but um, I have a special ordering uh, reward or gift for you between now and December 31st, okay? Um, if you spend $50, um, you're going to get obviously this month's all-star tutorial pdf which do i have sitting here i don't see it yep here it is you're going to get this pdf and i just finished typing up the pdf for the 12 days of christmas there's 26 project projects that is a ton so I'm going to, as soon as I'm done today, I'm going to upload this video to YouTube, grab the link, add it to the PDF, and I'm going to email it to anybody who has spent $50 with me online this month. You're going to get that free and you're going to get this free. Um, orders between, uh, what did I say, the 12th and the 31st, we'll also get a pack of handmade cards. I have a ton of cards, guys, a ton, and I'm going to give them away to you for free. You'll get 10 cards if you spend $50 with me before the end of the month. That started Tuesday, okay? Tuesday through the 31st. If your order is $75, I'm gonna give you those two PDFs and the cards and a pink buckaroo rainbow tape dispenser. And this is like post-it tape. It's thin and it's repositionable. It's also, I guess they call it highlight tape, but I call it post-it tape. Isn't that cute? And if your order is $100, you're also gonna get one of my cute little bags with some embellishments in it. So I've got some pretty good rewards for you guys who are not done shopping. Go check out um, stampinup.com, see what you want. I would definitely put my order in today because it's free shipping. But these rewards, this offer is good through the end of the month. All right, let me move all of this. Um, and then let's take a look. Oh, let's do prizes first. Oh. Also, host code, don't forget the host code. Um, if your order is over $150, don't use the host code. You're gonna get free stuff from Stampin' Up! And I will still send you the goodies. But if your order is under $150, please use the host code so that um, I use those Stampin' Rewards collected on those orders to buy prizes and things like the embellishments and all that kind of stuff. Um, 
I just had a thought and then it left me. I forgot. Oh, I know. This stuff, I will not be shipping these little gifts until the first week of January. Okay? So it's, it'll be a few weeks. I'm going to uh, finish up my calendar class and uh, then I will be just working just a little bit for the rest of the month. Hey, by the way, new color club, I haven't forgotten about you. Your kits are coming at the end of the month. Okay? They ship on the 28th. Okay, that was a lot. Let's do prizes. Every day I've been giving away a door prize. I wish the comments would just stay on my iPad because I have to swipe every time to see them. Um, let's see. New color. No, no, I already said that. I'm looking at my list. Oh, give me a break. Facebook, why? Why are you doing this to me? Okay, um, every day I have been giving away a door prize. You have to go to my blog post, scroll down to the bottom. It's like the second to last paragraph. There's a link that says click here to enter today's door prize. And here are our winners from day eight, Connie Ludwig. And you know what? You don't have to email me because you added your address when you enter to win, which makes it easy. Um, Marsha, stars at night, Marsha Hag. Day 10 is Christmas Classics, Beth Ann Halverson, which I just mailed you something yesterday, but I'm going to send this to you too, so I definitely have your address. And day 11, Sherry Wilson. Thanks for playing along with me, you guys. I hope you've enjoyed the 12 days of Christmas. There will be one more prize today that I will give away at our first Facebook Friday in January, which will be, what's the first Friday of January? Let's see, I have a new calendar here. My mom got me a new cute little um, national park calendar. January 5th will be the first Facebook Friday. That feels like a really long time from now, doesn't it? January 5th. And that means the new catalog will be live. Yay. Okay. So congratulations to our winners. I'll choose one more in January. Okay. So there have been a lot <laughs> of projects. Look at this, you guys. This is how many projects we have made over the last um, however many days. Let's see if I turn it this way. Maybe you can see it better. Um, we did, and I probably can't even remember all the stamps, stamp set names. We did the snowflakes, right? Snowflakes. I can't even remember the name. We did Joy to You. Is that what that one's called? We did... Um, sending cheer oh no <laughs> i fell down it's okay it's all right gingerbread man we'll fix you whoa he's really twisted that's weird he must have come off all right well we're gonna have to do dimensional surgery see these dimensionals i tell you guys this is these dimensionals are some of the best adhesive we have they really don't want to come off all right so sending cheer i'm gonna put that over there so i can repair it um sending cheer we did let's go shopping is that what that one's called? We did a uh, fragrant forest. I think that might be my favorite. Mm, yeah, maybe my, well, no, my second favorite card. I'll show which one my fa is my favorite in mint. We did um, Mary and Bright. This may, this maybe is my third favorite card. We did uh, this guy, Traditions of St. Nick. That was a good one. I love that one. That was last Facebook Friday. Um, we did the Berry Christmas. This is my favorite card right here. This uh, So Very Merry, that's my favorite. That was Monday's Projects. And this was also Monday's Project. I think that's my favorite 3D. This, I didn't expect to love that stamp set as much as I did, but I do love it. Then this one, um, Jolly Words, I, I think I'm remembering. The only one I can't remember. What's the snowflake stamp set called, you guys? What is it? Um, Cliffy, you couldn't find the nice and naughty Tic Tacs? I got them at Target. Christmas Nutty Buddy? You couldn't find Christmas Nutty Buddies? Did you go to the Little Debbie Snack Finder? Um, go to Little, just Google Little Debbie Snack Finder, enter your zip code, and then you, it'll tell you what stores have them. Those are really popular. Little Debbie actually said that's their highest selling Christmas snack. Um, and then yesterday was wishes all around. So if you are behind and you haven't watched the videos, don't worry, they're all there. I am typing them up in a PDF. No, I have typed them up in a PDF. All 26 projects, including today's. And it will be available in my PDF store later on this afternoon. And if you're shopping with me this month, you get it for free if you spend over $50. Okay? 
All right, well, let's get started on our last two sets, and I am keeping it somewhat simple today. I have a couple of uh, sneak peek products for you from the spring catalog. I came in this morning, my studio was a huge disaster, and I cleaned. I put things away. Do you guys, you know, when I cut paper, I just start, there's like a pile of scraps that gets bigger and bigger and bigger because I don't want to sort them out. And then about every two weeks, I force myself to sort them. So I did that today. That is so satisfying. Why I don't sort them out every day, I don't know. But the pile gets bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> All right, so horse and sleigh. I have actually done two cards with horse and sleigh before I posted. I looked back. One of them was in July, and one of them was in September. So these are – this. I love this card. I love it. See how the – that this paper – one horse open slate paper really is stunning. And this little stamp set just is a nice compliment to the paper. So really, I should say today's star is the paper more than the stamp set because these cards were really designed around the paper because it's so beautiful. So this, here's the slate again, and it's a belly band that slides off like that. And then when you open it, there's your sentiment. So I'm gonna show you how I cut the paper. See, it's not exactly cut in half. I cut it so that when the belly band is on it, you really can't see. See how the, there's, a, there's a strip of DSP on the belly band that connects those two pieces together. All right, so when you cut your paper, I, when I was typing the directions today, I said, be strategic when you cut your designer series paper. And we'll get we'll do that in a minute, but let's do our coloring. I'm noticing I have no Stampin' Blends here. I thought I was so prepared. Obviously, not so prepared. So let me stamp this, and then I will go grab them. This is a big stamp. I don't use this block very often, but you need a big one, or your stamp positioning tool, like your Stamparatus. Okay, let me see, we need real red, Pecan Pie, Misty Moonlight, Smoky Slate. Hold on, let me grab them all. Real Red, Pecan Pie, which I can't see. Is this Pecan Pie? Pecan Pie, Misty Moonlight. This is proving harder than I thought it was gonna be. Nothing is where it's supposed to be. Smoky Slate. Okay. <laughs> I had put them all back, but I had put them all back in the wrong place. All right, let me bring my chair over. Now, maybe I should zoom in a little bit. Let's see if I can zoom in just a little bit more. Okay, so this paper is still available the last time I checked. Someone go over to the store and type in... Um, one horse open slate and verify that this paper is still available. Um, this paper is really beautiful. Uh, it's hand painted, obviously. The artist hand painted it. There's all kinds of winter scenes in here. And then the back of the paper has great, just kind of monochromatic, simple patterns. So yes, they brought it out with a Christmas stamp, but I think that you can definitely use it throughout the year. The patterns on the back, one of them we used yesterday on that card, the red printed pattern. And some of them, I mean, you could use that for a thousand different uses, right? I feel like they're kind of, there's some masculine feel to the paper. Um, I have added real red light on here, and I'm gonna add a shadow down here around the, the bottom. I'm also gonna put a shadow with my dark right under that line right there. And then I'm gonna take my light, and I'm using my brush in today because this is a big area, and blend that in. Um, I think I'm gonna switch over now because now we're gonna do the smaller spots. You guys are quiet today. Either that or I'm not seeing, I'm just not seeing comments, I don't know. Um, are you guys ready for Christmas? You know, I feel like I haven't really put a whole lot of thought into the gifts this year. I need to, as they, I have ordered lots of things, and as they've come in, I've just been throwing them into the guest bedroom closet, 
and I need to kind of go and assess and see what I, <laughs> what I have, who's missing what, what hasn't come. And you know, when you have multiple kids, you have to like try to make things even. So I have to make sure things are almost even. I know it doesn't have to be even, but, oh, well, I was using dark. Oh, well, we'll just continue with dark. And as they get older, you guys, their gifts are expensive. All three of my girls were wanting very expensive things this year. So the number of gifts aren't quite going to be, you know, I mean, we have to be reasonable. It's hard to, to come up with smaller, smaller things <laughs> that they will like when their list is like Apple Watch, iPad, Xbox, you know, like you can't, sorry, you can't have all that. Come up with some things in the $30 range, please. And nowadays, there's not very many things in the $30 range. All right, so I've used Misty Moonlight and Real Red. And I'm gonna add Pecan Pie. Um, when you look closely at this image, it's a little like, what am I looking at when they, you know, like these little, these little, um, like, is that his arm? Is that a fur on the coat? What is that? So I always Google it and see how other people have colored it. And that usually will help. Mary, you're moving this weekend and your stuff's all packed. Oh my gosh, this is like a crazy, crazy time to move. Ugh, that sounds like a lot of work right the week before Christmas but maybe it'll let you off the hook too you can be like sorry I was moving I didn't have time um smoky slate I'm gonna add a little bit of smoky slate light to our horse a little bit down here he looks kind of like a Clydesdale horse um, just a little where things would overlap a little bit of a shadow here that and like that all right um the last thing i need to do is color this whatever this is his bit is that what they call this the thing on his head all right now to make this extra we need to make it a little extra let's add a little bit of wink of stella to our sleigh let's just make it pretty Okay, now let's cut it out. Let me grab my machine. Oh, please don't tell me I don't even have the dies. Oh yeah, they're right here. Like I was so organized, I cleaned up, I got everything out of the way. All right, I already have my post-it tape there. And let's look, you wanna look at the top and the, the ends and the bottom and make sure, cause this is a long die. We wanna make sure everything is squared away. Uh-oh, I need to zoom out. Sorry, sorry, hold on. There we go. Get it lined up. After all that coloring, you don't wanna mess it up. And run it through. Oh, well Mary, I hope you're better time to get on with your life 2024 will be better for you I bet I bet it will okay now let's talk about this paper um let me grab I sorted out I had a couple of packs of this paper and I sorted them out by pattern and you could really use any of these patterns for this the any of these cards all right we're going to use this one right here and uh, let me see, I, we, we're gonna use that one in the next project. Look at that red on the back, I really like that. Oh, and that, that Misty Moonlight stripe on the back of that one is really good. Um, this one is so cute, the little deer. We're gonna use that on the second one too. But see on the back, you've got these just really good kind of monochromatic patterns. That one would be good for this card. There's the fox. That's a beautiful piece. And what else do we have? Ooh, like a snowy field. 
Some of you up north, this is what your property already looks like, probably. The sunset. I made an owl card with that paper. Let me show you. This was our new color club, one of our cards. See how he's flying through like that at sunset? Um, let's see what else we have. This one, so cute. We're using that one in the next project, too. There's the one I showed you on the original, the uphill. I guess I should have put them like this, going up. Oh, well. All right, so when we cut this card or this paper, I have a card base. It's a regular five and a half by eight and a half, but I have scored it at two and an eight and six and three eighths so that I have these two flaps. I want to have the tops of the, we need, basically we need two inch strips. So I've got to kind of figure out how to cut it. I'm, I want to include the trees and I really wanted to include some of that pink there too. Um, and then the bottom, it has to be ground so that, you know, like our guys aren't like going through the trees. So what I did, I did, I did kind of a surgery on my paper, right? First, let's cut it to the length that we need, which is, oh, come on, hello. I've never had that problem before. <laughs> that was weird. All right, let's cut it to five and three eighths. All right, five and three eighths. It is really wanting to stick today. And then down here, we'll cut this one. We'll use the bottom two inches like this. All right, and then I know that I want to include this. So I'm gonna cut this off right here. That's gonna be the top. But then we have to make this two inches wide. Or yeah, two inches wide. All right, so two two inch strips. Okay, so there's the top part and the bottom part. Now this piece right here, we're gonna put a belly band on our card that is one inch wide. So I'm gonna cut this piece to seven eighths of an inch and it will kind of fill in between those trees and the ground. Okay, all right. Do I have adhesive at least? Yes. Oh, that one's out. Let's try again. This is a Misty Moonlight card base, and we're gonna put this right here. I cut the, the paper with just an eighth of an inch border, and this one's gonna go down here. You know what, let's do the inside uh, before we close it all up. Um, we need our pecan pie and ooh, light is blinding me we need some scratch paper and I'm gonna take my tree and I'm gonna stamp and stamp off all right I'm just gonna add in some trees at different heights and different strengths of ink all right maybe we'll do one more like that all right, and then let's add the sentiment in Cherry Cobbler. Sending warmth your way. Now this could be a thank you card too, right? This could be a thank you card. Mary, did you get your catalogs in the mail? I haven't heard if anybody's received theirs yet. All right, I always send one to myself and I haven't gotten mine, so just so that I can see, you know, when they arrive. All right, so put that on the inside. Now here's our belly band. Just, and I put on there two one inch strips, or one by eight inch strips of uh, Misty Moonlight, because it's not gonna be long enough if you cut it 11, it needs to be just a little bit longer. So, you know, just cut two one inch strips off your paper, adhere them end over end like that, and then we're gonna wrap it around. I think this is gonna be too long and we're gonna have to trim it, but it's better to be too long. Well, I guess not. It's better to be too long than too short. But I mean, we could definitely make it shorter. See how much overlap we have. So I'm adhering it 
to itself end over end like that so it's going to slide if I didn't do it too tight. Right, see, and you kind of have to tuck those pages underneath your belly band. Let's look at this one. This one's better. See how it slides up and down? All right, so then we're going to put that middle piece of DSP that we cut. Remember, we cut this out in the middle. We're going to put that right there. So it's kind of a continuation. And, and you can't even see the belly band. And then... We'll put on our little sleigh like that. Now, let's go down a little bit so he's not on the fence. There we go. That's so pretty. That image and that paper together is so pretty. Last but not least, I'm gonna add a bow. And this is the Misty Moonlight Middle Braid. Is that what it's called? Inner Braid. Inner Braid Ribbon. Little bow. Good, I'm glad you got them. Yes, so if Mary got them, then that means they are they are on their way, you guys. You all should get yours. Anybody who ordered with me in the last year, if you spent more than $50, and if, you, if I know you, you're not already a demonstrator, then I sent you one. If you're already a demonstrator, I'm not discriminating against you. It's just that you'll automatically get one from Stampin' Up. Stampin' Up just sends them for free, right, to everybody who's a demo. Okay, now we're going to just put that kind of right there. And there we go. There is our first card, a tilted gatefold, an up and down gatefold. I don't know. What do you guys think? Pretty, right? That paper just, you don't really have to do much to that card because that paper is so beautiful. All right, now let's look at our next set of cards. Now, I, I mentioned at the beginning, my mom was here and we were talking about what I was going to do. And she suggested, she, here's the stamp set. I hadn't even shown you guys the stamp set today. She suggested thank you cards. And I was like, you're exactly right. And this paper, truly, you guys, you don't have to do much to it. So I have picked three different patterns and I've matted them and put them on a card base. I've cut two trees and stamp the sentiment. Now, because I want to play with my new um, my new products from the spring catalog, I am using a different stamp set. This one called Filled with Happiness. I'm using that, thanks. And the labels that I cut are also new. Did I include those? Yeah, here they are. It's a new die set. It's called Thoughtful Expressions. And there's that label. Look at those shapes. Beautiful. There's a stamp set that goes with it too. Okay, so we're just going to make two of these cards. Um, this is the one we're not going to make. So if you want to take a close look at it, the pictures are on my blog and they'll be in that PDF too. So you need to be strategic again when you cut this paper. And each piece seems to have some kind of little focal point. So like the, the deer, right? And I want to put my little cluster in the corner. So either the deer needs to be on the left-ish side or the right-ish side. Um, so what I, and I don't want to cut off too much snow. And I, you know, you really kind of have to just get a feel for the middle part of where you want it. I liked this pink up here too. So I wanted to include some of that. So I'm going to cut off about an inch and then I'm going to turn it. And I need it to be three and seven eighths which is right here. And let's look at that. If I cut it, yep, that looks about right. All right. Wow, my thing is really sticking today. I don't know why, what I did to make it do that. And then turn it this way, and I'm gonna cut off as much as I can on this side so he's a little bit over, right? Over to the right. So then it needs to be five and an eight. All right, so there's that one. And then for the house, obviously it's all the way on the right. So all we have to do is cut off this side, five and an eighth. And then down here, I'm gonna cut, this is tricky because you wanna include a little bit of each of them. So let's see, we wanna get some of the chimney. We definitely wanna get the top of that house. So I'm gonna cut that, 
and then we'll turn it and see what it looks like at three and seven eighths. Yep, about right there. All right, so when you cut your paper, you really need to look at it, and each pattern is different. You need to look at it to see, you know, how much, and sometimes I do like a little bit on one side, a little bit on the other, go back, do a little bit more on one side, a little bit on the other to keep it balanced. So this is gonna be matted on petal pink. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit of adhesive here and you can use either pecan pie or early espresso cardstock or both, which is what I did to cut out some trees. Here's our little label and we're gonna stamp this one in petal pink. Petal pink looks really good with early espresso and pecan pie. Okay, dimensional. Dimensional, put that right there. And then I've got my silver 1 8 inch ribbon. This comes in a combo pack of silver and gold. It's a great kind of all purpose, especially during the holidays, ribbon. Glue dots, my glue dots are prob probably stuck to something. I have a new pack and I unrolled it and re-rolled it so that the dots would be on the outside because I can't stand the dots being on the inside. <laughs> you guys ever do that? And, uh, but then it sticks to things, especially when it's new and fat like that. All right, I'm gonna put that there. And then we're gonna put this one on an early espresso card base. You know, I didn't put a white piece on the inside. You're definitely gonna need to put a piece of basic white on the inside, kind of like we did with the first card. You can stamp some of those trees in the corner just like we did on our first card. All right, put that there with dimensionals. Now, in the exact same way, we're gonna do the other card. Here's our paper. Here, this time I chose a Knight of Navy mat. And Misty Moonlight card base. Let's do our little cluster of trees. And I kind of did them at various heights. It looks like I did early espresso on the original early espresso trees, but pecan, pecan pie trees will work too. Here is our Thoughtful Expressions label. And this time we're gonna stamp it in Cherry Cobbler. There we go. A couple of dimensionals. There is cherry cobbler right there on the door. The, the little house has a red door. I'm gonna put that right there. Let's go down just a bit. Like that, another bow. Thanks, Joan, I appreciate the share. Now, this is the last Facebook Live until 2024. You guys, you know what? I wrote a check the other day to the guy who's been working on our yard, and he came back the next day and said the bank wouldn't take it because I wrote 2024. <laughs> you know, it's usually the opposite. It takes you a while to get used to writing the new year. Well, apparently, I'm already practicing. I don't know why I did that. I had to rewrite him the whole check. Bank was like, oh, it's not 2024 yet. I felt stupid. My husband was like, did you really? Yes, I did. All right. A couple of dimensionals. These are quick and easy. Quick and easy. Now, if you want to turn these into Christmas cards, if you need some Christmas cards, just do that. Just change the sentiment. And, and you're done. And that paper, and we have a lot of paper that could just be the focal point. Um, the... The new online exclusive garden paper especially could be like that. I mean, it's just gorgeous. Here's that one. Um, what other? I mean, we have some that have these like hand-painted scenes. I don't know. They're so beautiful. 
Okay, there you go. There's your second project. Some simple thank you cards. Um, let's look at our first set. There's our first one. And then of course, here are some that I did earlier in the year. Now, we're done. 12 days, 12 days of projects, 24 each, 22 each, two days had three projects each for a total of 26 projects. So you guys, I'm going to go upload this to YouTube, add the link to the PDF, and I'm going to email it to everybody who's already shopped with me. And then when you shop the rest of the month, if you spend over $50, I'll send you the PDF. If you want the PDF and you're not going to shop with me, it will be available in um, my PDF store. Okay? All right, you guys, that's it. Don't forget the goodies I'm giving away. Today is free shipping. Tomorrow's the last day to register for the calendar class unless it sells out today. Um, and that's it. I will be back January 5th. You guys, I will be in and out over the next couple of weeks. So be patient if you send me an email. It might take me a couple of days to get back to you. Taking some time off. But I'll be ready to go with new projects in January. You guys have a Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for everything. For all of you who've supported me over this last year, I really do appreciate you. And uh, I look forward to spending the 2024 with you the next year. That's crazy. All right, guys. Merry Christmas. Bye.